Hi, this is Michael McAnally of Touch Voice, the medical speaking app. I'm the uh, CEO and dev, and I'm going to demonstrate my product uh, for the speech impaired on a very inexpensive Android tablet. Now, you can pick up these tablets at places like Best Buy, and I'm not uh, uh, endorsing them or anything. T uh, tax and everything, about $48, so say $50. And you can get my software, uh, Touch Voice, for $20, and you can have an entire uh, speaking system for $70. Now, that might seem like a lot, but this is hardware and software, and the total cost of such a system in the past, like a decade ago, would have been $1,000 or $200 for some custom systems, and it's now come down to essentially, you know, end-to-end -end $70. Bucks. So that's, that's pretty amazing. And you can purchase the software online at PayPal. Okay, and it'll give you a sign in and authorize ID, which will allow you to run on more expensive tablets like the iPad 2 or, or above. Uh, you can also run on laptops, anything that can run a Chrome or a Safari browser. Those two uh, uh, browsers provide for uh, embedded speech computer synthesis, so you can get a voice for the speech impaired. Okay. So uh, using this, we'll, we'll go ahead and set it up, and I'll fast forward through it so you can see the end result. You may have to do some installs, so it's hoped that you have some experience uh, installing software, uh, purchasing through PayPal, and uh, uh, using a, a browser. Uh, it does require you have Wi-Fi access or connection to install the software, and at this time, in some cases, to use it. But we'll be improving that in the future. All right, so let's begin. I've already entered my Wi-Fi ID and password, and the tablet's coming up. It's uh, asking a question here. If you use another Android device, you can copy your current setup. Okay, so sometimes the screen will dim to, uh, to uh, uh, say battery. So there's a little button here on the side. You press again to bring it up. So I'm going to basically say no thanks to this and go to the next arrow down at the bottom. And this is basically a setup process for Android where you're going to uh, input your uh, email address. If you haven't got a Google one, you'll, you'll get one. And uh, you'll enter your email. Uh, so a pad will come up and then you'll type that email address in. And I've done that. I've typed the email address in and the password. And then there's another little next tab here. Bring the keyboard back down again. There's a little button down here. So it says I have the wrong password in, which will happen to you uh, sometimes if you're not careful about typing it in. So we'll correct that and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, we've uh, typed in the correct password and uh, we're ready to sign in with our uh, Gmail account uh, for the Android tablet here. So we accept the terms and conditions because we have no choice. And then it's already connected to Wi-Fi. So we don't want to do anything like automatically back up device data, not at the moment, or help apps to find your location, no, or help improving your Android experience. Let's hope it's good, no. Okay, so we're going to go next, and the tablet says just a sec. It looks like it's more than a sec, so patience is um, needed here. And so it's asking us to set up a personal mail server here. Uh, if you use a personal exchange address. So we're not going to do that at the moment. I'm just going to continue on. And then uh, prevents others from using this. Protect your device. A pin and a pattern. Uh, okay, a pin or a pattern to lock the device. So we're not going to do that this time just because we're demonstrating. So, But you might want to protect your device with a, with a particular pin. So I'm going to skip that step. Uh, and it's telling me not to do that, but I'm going to skip that anyway. Sometimes someone might have dexterity issues and not be able to type the pattern, so we want to be able to disable that in some cases. So it, it overrides security concerns, actually, um, for usability. Okay, wallpapers and widgets. Got it. Just trying to tell us things. And it's a nice looking desktop for a tablet here. Okay. Now we're going to proceed with the account you'll get online you purchase 
uh, through Touch Voice at, uh, at PayPal, all right, you'll get a uh, ID and password that, and, and a link to the software online. It's a web app, okay? But to run it, you'll need Chrome. So uh, let's see if this tablet has Chrome. If it doesn't, we'll need to install the full-blown version because it has the embedded speech engine, which allows for speech synthesis, which is what allows the device to speak for the speech impaired. So um, we'll check that out by, by going back down here to this little uh, white button at the bottom with uh, square dots on it, six square dots on it, so it looks like a die. And then uh, it does have Chrome, but we'll have to test it and see if it has this embedded speech engine in it. And we'll, we'll know that soon enough. Um, I've typed into the browser touch-voice.com, our uh, web URL, and uh, on here you'll notice at the top under our, our icon here, buy Touch Voice Gold web app. So that's the one you want that'll work on all the devices through the browser. And uh, purchase with PayPal, buy now. Okay. And now you're basically at a shopping store browser cart. So we'll add the software to the cart. And we will, if you're buying multiple ones, you want to update the cart. And we're going to go to the PayPal button here. So we're going to purchase through PayPal and through the Wi-Fi connection, secure Wi-Fi connection that is. You won't have to worry about losing your uh, credit card information. Or if you have a PayPal account with a balance already in it, you can purchase from there. And we're a PayPal. So I'm going to log in with my account and purchase the software. And then I'll show you what happens. Okay, so now we're going to log in with the uh, ID and password and link we received in the email after our PayPal purchase. And I've already input mine so that you can't see it. And I'm going to hit the login here. And this is where it's important to note this. It's asking you if you want to save the password. And in this case, I'm going to say yes, so I don't have to type it in ever again on this device. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate the Touch Voice Gold web app software after it's been installed on an inexpensive tablet. So um, the first thing you want to do is turn the tablet on. And in this case, if you don't know Android, you need to swipe to bring things up. Now, we're already in the browser uh, at the uh, address that uh, and signed on with our ID and password. And um, one of the things you'll notice is that the browser has an address up here and part of the buttons might be off. So in a smaller tablet, you'll need to set it up properly for that tablet, larger tablets you probably won't have a problem. So let's do that first. So let's start with the screen settings button up here. Okay. And you'll probably want to uh, reduce the number of rows being shown from five to say something like three. Okay. And turn off the uh, word cycle lines. Okay. Those are used for advanced and more complex sentence construction, but they take up a lot of space on the screen. So this is why we recommend tablets that are larger than seven or eight inches so we can get everything on the screen. The buttons are big for people to press who have shaky hands and stuff like that. But if you don't, if you have one of these smaller tablets, this is what you'll do. You go to the screen settings and make adjustments. It's kind of explained. And then uh, another thing is you'll scroll up here to remove that top part, okay, and hit the back button here. Here, let's do move that top part again here. Okay, and now the whole thing fits on the screen. Okay, once you're there, it, it might take a few moments to initialize the speech, no. but once it's working, okay, and I don't know if you can hear that. Doctor. Yeah, okay. And uh, you'll be able to do images and cycle through those as well. You'll see buttons down here. You can scroll up a little bit and cycle through all those images properly. Okay, or you can scroll back. Go to uh, Dialogues, select Food Types, for example. Lunch. Banquet. Okay. And uh, you can also do Custom. Your voice settings. Very funny, ha ha ha. 